I think the answer is yes, but indirectly. And I think it's important that the answer is indirectly. Yes. 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 Yes, absolutely. Yes. 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 I do. And it offers an unusual solution. It's one of the few human activities which are truly cross-cultural. It doesn't tackle any directly, but educating physics students to solve difficult problems in original ways is a way forward. There may be a, a distance in time between the very fundamental mathematical equations that we're trying to understand and the applications that may arise from them 20 years later. Increase representation by increasing opportunities for people who come from underrepresented groups in theoretical physics. It's mainly public health. Healthcare and sustainability. Sustainability. I think potentially a lot of them, um, if not all of them. Moment, the coronavirus. Again, I'm going to be deliberately ambiguous here and I'm going to say all or none, depending on how you want to, how you want to look at it. We produce people with special skill sets, who many of whom do not go on to be theoretical physicists themselves, but instead enter the wider world uh, doing jobs that are directly related to global challenges like uh, energy or climate change or disease modeling, things like this. And so I think in that sense, indirectly, we have a huge role to play. What I can do is set up a mathematical problem, a model, for academic. Our background training in theoretical physics is applicable to a wide range of problems that can be modeled mathematically. We're developing new and clever computational techniques. Data science, manipulation of large data sets and also high performance computing. We use biophysics to find some models for cellular phenomena. Promoting scientific literacy. Improvements in the numerical methods used in cosmological simulations can be used also for climate modeling, which often relies on similar techniques. If you think about extraplanet and space travel, and we will solve a lot of problems with this. The most important thing for tackling global issues, I think, is collaboration and team working. I think listening and um, talking to people outside of your bubble. Understanding human behavior. I think um, selflessness. Uh, applying creativity and not just letting computers do the thinking. Creativity, interdisciplinarity, but mainly thinking outside the box. Yeah, I would say reliable information, uh, choosing the right priorities and compromise. Actually diversity, it's bringing people with different perspectives together. New ideas. The problems are just too severe to be tackled by existing ideas and old technologies. In the future, that's what theoretical physics should continue to be about, is thinking about deep uh, questions about the nature of reality, the universe. To learn from nature, to understand nature's laws, and to use that understanding to grow our appreciation of our situation, to seek in an uncompromising way, answers to the most difficult questions. Always providing the answers, the ideas for things we can't understand. I think that we only need to have a lot of ideas. Exciting, challenging, and hopefully surprising. Creative and also collegial. Big thinking. Interdisciplinary. I'd like to see more synergies with society and general technologies like AI, big data, blockchains, and all these things. I have two words like me. <laughs> diverse, welcoming and inclusive. More diverse in terms of people, more diverse in terms of ideas, more in diverse in terms of the topics that we attempt. Bright and inclusive. Bright, of course. Um, it's one of the most exciting areas. I'm sure it will continue to produce great minds which will continue to inspire the world.